Hello everyone, welcome to episode 21 of the Love Sockwell podcast. I am your hostess, Sarah, also known as Love Sockwell on Ravelry and Instagram. Welcome to my home. <laughs> I have lots of socks to show you guys. Um, I have one pair finished and another pair that's almost finished and lots of Christmas socks to show you because currently we are having a very fun informalish uh, knit along called the 12 socks of Christmas where you can feel free to knit every single Christmas sock yarn known to man. Um, I will not be able to knit 12 pairs but that's the goal. <laughs> it's not gonna happen but I hope I can have one pair finished before Christmas, but I have about six pairs going, which is really fun. So let us enable you to please cast on every single holiday sock yarn you have. And if you don't have any, by all means, go get some and start knitting Christmas socks because it is a crazy amount of fun. Um, so uh, right now there's just, uh, if you go to the Love Sock Wool group on Ravelry, um, hold on, there's something, a notification. I'm trying to record on my phone. It might blow up at some point. So hopefully I have enough storage to get through everything I want to show you. Um, anyhow, go to the Ravelry group, Love Sockwell on Ravelry. And there's the 12 Socks of Christmas thread. And this was all Megan Bell's idea. This is not even my idea. I'm just, I'm just going along with it, participating. <laughs> so uh, she posted this sock yarn. At the beginning of the thread and this is opal clang felton pop music color 9040 i don't know if it's meant to be a christmas colorway or if it if if it is or if it just is coincidental that it's looks christmasy but to me this is like the most perfect christmas colorway in the world and i ordered it like immediately after seeing her post <laughs> and somehow i managed to order two because i ordered it from a German website. So I have an extra one. So this can be a giveaway for 12 Socks of Christmas. Um, so I will be opening a finished object thread so that you can, if you are, if you finish a pair, post um, in the finished object thread. So for every finished pair of Christmas socks, that gets you an entry to win a prize. And also the lovely Bungalow 312 has offered to do a giveaway as well. And she has a self-striping skein of sock yarn from Mint Rain called All the Misfit Toys. Perfect! So she's going to pick a winner and handle uh, sending that out. Um, so what I thought would be nice to do is why don't we just have the 12 socks of Christmas go through to December 25th. And so you'll have till Christmas to uh, post a finished pair in the finished object thread. And, um, and sometime after Christmas, I will randomly choose a winner for the pop music colorway and Bungalow 312 will randomly choose a winner and she'll PM you and get your address and everything. So, so be patient because, you know, obviously with the holidays, we're all going to be kind of busy. So at some point after Christmas, we will choose winners. Um, so yay, fun, keep knitting your Christmas socks. I'm really having a blast with this. <laughs> And thank you to Megan Bell for the wonderful idea. And everyone is seems very enthusiastic and excited about it. So um, naturally, I, I am as well. So um, lots of lots of good fun for the month of December, I do believe. <laughs> so okay, let me show you some finished objects. Oh, some finished objects. One finished object. This is the only finished object I have, and I can't even believe I was able to do this. But anyhow, this is. Gnome Acres House Gnome Base in the Gnomicana colorway and plain vanilla sock, 68 stitches on size zeros. Um, and I, oh, I just love them. They turned out very nice. Um, my motivation to finish these was because I was able to manage to hit the Gnome Acres update on Saturday. Um, and I got a skein of No Place Like Gnome. <laughs> and I've been wanting that colorway for a very long time. So I'm excited. So that was my motivation to finish up my current Gnome Makers project. So, so I got this done and I'm very excited. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these or if I'm gonna gift these 
to a friend of mine. But we'll see. I'm, I haven't decided yet. <clears throat> and then my other No Makers sock I've been working on is the Smell My Feet, also in the house gnome base. And these are for Marshall. And it's just a three by one ribbed sock, also on size zeros. And I cast on 60 stitches. And I have the second one. And last night I was able to get all the, the decreases done for the gusset. So maybe I can finish these today. It'd be awesome if I could get both no makers pairs finished before the next game comes <laughs> because then I can justify casting on another no maker sock. You know how it is. That's what we do. This is, this is how we roll. Okay. I think that's all my, that's all my finished objects and current whips or socks that are not Christmas socks that I have worked on. I haven't worked on any of my shawls at all them. And I've put my gnome acres, gnome, um, not gnome, Akana, gnome some dove, <laughs> all these gnome names. Um, I put that one on hold for a bit because I do not like the needles I'm using and I really want to get a carbons needle for that. Um, so that, that cowl is not going to get done before Christmas, but that's okay. It's fine. Um, but I'm not enjoying knitting it on the current needles that are on that project. So until I can switch out the needles, it's just gonna take a little time out. That's okay. I'm having fun knitting Christmas socks. We're gonna have some hot chocolate here, which is delicious. And let me show you some Christmas socks. Oh, well actually half finished object. <laughs> here is the first um, West Yorkshire Spinners. Christmas sock that I have finished that I completely love. So the red is cherry drop and the patterned part is hollyberry, I think. And I ordered these directly from the West Yorkshire Spinners website. Uh oh, this is the wrong bag. Hold on. Isn't it lovely when you get confused between all the Christmas bags? Here is the yarn, West Yorkshire Spinners. I really want to get the second one going. Nina is almost done with her pair. I was watching her latest podcast yesterday and she's already halfway done with the second sock. I have to hurry up. And then Kamadrez, I think she finished her pair maybe. So I am sadly falling behind. So here's Cherry Drop. This is good value sock yarn. I mean, for the price, you get a ton of yardage and you can tell that these are going to be very hard wearing, good sturdy socks. Um, it is not very soft sock yarn. In fact, it's probably the scratchiest sock yarn I've ever knit with, other than Drops Fobble. Drops Fobble's got some tooth to it, but you can tell that though it will be very hard wearing and just, good socks. Um, obviously I love super soft socks, but you know, you have to be a little bit more careful with them because they're more fragile. So good stuff here. I'm excited to get the, the next one going. Hopefully I can do that today. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. And the other Christmas sock, there's more, there's, a, there's at least three more and more sock, more Christmas sock yarn is coming in the mail maybe today. It's too bad the mail hasn't come before I recorded because then I could have showed it to you. I can post pictures on the Instagram. So stay tuned. So I'm working on this lovely Christmas sock. It is the Holidays Colorway by Cascade Heritage Prints. And I super duper love this one a lot. Look how fun. So traditional. <laughs> and I just knit my, you know, my re I'm knitting my regular 64 stitch sock and slip stitch heel flap. I just kept knitting with the yarn. I didn't, you know, do anything different. Um, but when I finished the heel turn, I just pulled off yarn until I got back to where I should be to continue with the pattern down the foot. And I'm done with the gussets. I'm just working down the foot and I have it on my lovely little bobbins DPN holder with the cute socks on the 
clothesline. <laughs> so this is how much I pulled off to get to, so I would be in pattern. So not very much. So hmm, I don't think this is enough for a square on my blanket, but I don't know. It looks so festive, just like that, a little nugget. Okay, that's that one. Okay, let me tuck these guys back in here. There are more Christmas things. Oh, yes. This is not all. <clears throat> all right, so I was showing you the, the opal. I cast this one on, too. Oh, this one might be my favorite one, you guys. I don't know why, but this, this one is just magical. It just screams the holidays to me almost ready for the heel flap and I have them on my nitpick sunstruck needles which one of them has already broken and I noticed it at the movie theater on Friday night we went to see Mockingjay part two which was fine I'm not super crazy into the Hunger Games but it was the movie that was playing at the time that we could go see a movie <laughs> so we went to see it um, it was fun. But I pulled this sock out of my knitting bag and one of the needles was like completely snapped, like right in half, right here. So I had to grab an empty one and quick get the stitches onto a non-broken needle. I don't even know how that happened, but it did. These needles tend to snap quite easily, but it's good that Nitpick sends you six DPNs instead of just five, so you have an extra one. For when that happens because it, it will happen <laughs> and I have my little snowflake stitch marker and I've had questions about um how did I do this so I, I went to Joann's and I got lobster claws and just picked out some charms which you'll see in like the beading jewelry section and then you know a little package of jingle bells and I got these little circle jump rings which I don't know if I had to do that but I did so, um, so someone had asked what size lobster claw this is. I don't know what size it is. Um, so just whichever one just kind of looks like that. <laughs> Grab that one. And it comes in a pack of like three or four. Um, so yeah. So it's very easy to assemble your own progress keeper. If you would like to do that. It's very fun to do. I made like three. I made this one and a seahorse one. And, and then the little baseball mitt one, which I'm not sure where I put that one. I had put a jingle bell, jingle bell on the, the baseball mitt one and it was, it was so loud <laughs> that I had to take it off. <laughs> it was too much cheer. I had to take it, take it off. <laughs> it was too noisy. Okay, there's one more Christmas sock. This one is Blonde Vine Yarns Blitzed in the Deck the Halls colorway completely beautiful. I just have the cuff finished and um, I hadn't decided what I want to do for the for the leg. I, I, I mean I may just do plain vanilla but I might do Wendelin or some kind of ribbed pattern or maybe vanilla latte. I haven't decided. It's so pretty. So we shall see. I love these um, deeper cranberry bits. So pretty. There's the bow. Very sparkly. Perfect for Christmas. And I have them on my Knit Pro Zings, which you can order these from the UK. Um, Suffolk Socks has them, I do believe. And you know, if you just Google Knit Pro Zings, I think you can find several shops that you can order them from. And they're they're nice. They're not, they're very quite blunt, as you can see maybe right there. So they're, I mean, they're fine for plain vanilla knitting. I, I think if you were doing complicated lace stitches, you might not enjoy them as much, but but they're fine. And they have the, the, the size, I don't, you probably cannot see that, but the, the size of the needle is actually printed directly on the needle, which is nice in case you forget. So it's very festive to have gold needles to knit my Christmas socks with. All right, is that it for Christmas socks? I have um, one more Christmas skein coming. I think it's called Under the Christmas Tree, 
or Christmas lights or something like that. It's from an indie dyer on Etsy called Andy Pandy Crafts. And a lovely raveler in our group posted that colorway to enable us all, and it totally worked, in the 12 Socks of Christmas thread. And I, I jumped on that. <laughs> so it's a beautiful bright green that will swirl with, um, okay, I got cut off, sorry. Um, okay, so I wanted to show you my Christmas quilt that I finished, and I posted quite a few pictures, I think, background pictures on Instagram, but it's done. I wish that I could really show it to you better but than, than this. So it's half Downton Abbey fabric, and like this print and these kind of more vintage-y looking ones are from Joann's. They have a great Christmas fabric at Joann's. This one is also in there, so I love these Santas. So fun. I wish I could show it to you better, but <laughs> that might be the best I can do. And the backing is just a nice polka dot flannel. And I didn't do a proper binding. I just did right sides together and flipped it and just did a top stitch, which I, qu I quite like to do that because it looks clean and it just makes the finish easy. This is some other Santa fabric. So yeah, it's so fun. Here, let me see if I can, if you can see it better. This is the Ballard Quilt by Jira Brandvig from Quilt As You Go Made Modern. My favorite quilting book ever. I think she might be coming out with another book too soon. So you're supposed to do 30 blocks and they're 12 inch blocks, but I only did 20 because it's still obviously a good size lap quilt. And we have been enjoying this already, snuggling under it and we've already been watching Christmas movies. We watched Christmas with the Cranks, which I had never seen before. That was hysterical. I loved that one. And then the other night we watched Home Alone 2. There's lots of Christmas movies that we we have to watch this season. So yeah, we're, we're kind of ahead of, ahead of the schedule with watching Christmas movies. I usually don't watch them in any until December. I already have my Christmas decorations up. Um, I put up all the stockings, my little tiny Christmas tree with all my little knitted ornaments, have my garland up here, <laughs> and of course knitting all my Christmas socks. I don't know if you can see, but right there is the mistletoe mini skein from Gnome Acres, which I love it and I really want to knit with it, but I don't want to knit with it because it's so cute. Because it has a little red bow, like like mistletoe. <laughs> so I had to I had to hang it up as part of my Christmas decorations. So <laughs> okay, last thing I can show you is um my cozy memories blanket that I have been working on. Let me see how many squares have I put on since last I showed it to you. I think the last time I was maybe working on this one and it's an opal little prints colorway. And then I put, oh my goodness, I forgot I have another sock to show you. I forgot I have um, a, a homespun house sock to show you. I can't believe I forgot that. So this is a little mini that Molly sent me with my order of birthday cake that I ordered. I think it's Festival of Lights. And I'm not sure which base it is. It's either the Olsen one or for Dale, I'm not sure. And then, so I put that one on. And then this one is one of the Gnome Acres Christmas minis. I think it's To Be Jolly, if I'm not mistaken. So I put that one on. So I have a lot of the Gnome Acres minis. This one is Under the Christmas Tree, Eddie Griswold, Christmas Ham. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really enjoying, always enjoying working on the cozy memories. I think definitely as the weather has gotten colder, it's really fun to pick this up and and it's, it, it covers my lap, so it's very warm to, to be knitting on it. Okay, I have to grab my Molly sock. I can't believe I didn't remember. Okay, so I ordered, sorry, I go off screen there. So unprofessional, but I'm not a professional and I don't pretend to be, <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> Let's see, here it is. Okay, so 
I had ordered a skein of Molly's Lovely Yarn, and this is Birthday Cake in the her Olsen base, which is a BFL, like a 75-25, I think. Very nice, sturdy sock yarn. It's probably the softest BFL sock yarn I've ever felt. Like I, if I didn't know it was BFL, I would have thought it was Merino. It's, it's that soft. So it's a lovely speckled yarn. And I had ordered a, a dinosaur prog progress keeper from her because I just think it's really cute. <laughs> and we, we like dinosaurs around here. So I'm just doing a plain vanilla sock, 64 stitches, slip stitch heel, and I'm, I'm finished with the decreases and just working down the foot and using my carbons, 2.25 millimeter needles, and I really am enjoying it. And Molly so kindly um, threw in one of her bags. What, Molly? I've, I've already messaged her and thanked her um, officially, but just I want to publicly say thank you from the bottom of my heart. This fabric is so me. She knows me well. And then there's a cute little, uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, I think the little charm fell off. Oops. Wonder what happened to it? It's right here. <laughs> little, little house. Isn't that cute? So yeah, just slipped off. There we go. <laughs> But yeah, I love it. It's a big size. I've got a couple projects in here. So here's the yarn, the birthday cake. It's a nice speckledy. Lots of greens and purples and pinks. Oh, there's the mailman. I see the mailman. Better have my nitpicks. It was supposed to come on Saturday and they did not deliver it. So it better be here today. <laughs> I'm gonna have words. <laughs> And then here's my gnomesome dove. I haven't, I don't think I've worked on it at all since last time. I, I, it's in the round now, but for some reason these needles are just, I don't know, they're too slippery. I really need carbons. I'm addicted to carbons. But yeah, this, this will be a lovely finished object. I just, I hope I can get motivated to get going with it again. We shall see. So, what else can I speak of? <laughs> Showed you my quilt and my cozy memories. I haven't worked on my pinky purple cozy memories. I need to get, get going with that. But um, I think I just felt like knitting on the big one because I want it to keep getting bigger. Because I remember this time last year when I was working on it, my goal was by Christmas I wanted it to be big enough to cover my lap. Well, it's definitely big enough to cover my lap, but now I, for Christmas this year, I want it to be even bigger. <laughs> So I will keep working, keep working on that one. So I think that is all I have to share with you. I'm sorry, this is kind of a quick episode. Uh, please enjoy knitting your Christmas socks. And there's lots of fun chatter in the 12 socks of Christmas thread. So every everyone is welcome in my group. Please come and join and, and chitter chatter away. Um, and have fun knitting socks. So I will see you um, hopefully in, in two weeks. Um, I don't anticipate not being able to record in two weeks, but hopefully I, I will be on schedule again <laughs> in two weeks. And I, God bless and take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.